Hi guys, it is currently uh, just gone 6am and we're about to go for sleep. Hi guys, um, we've just got to Speeton, it's uh, 10 past 7 in the morning and it looks absolutely stunning. Hopefully, um, we'll find some fossils. So we're just on the beach now at Speeton and we're heading to the part where we uh, think there'll be some decent finds. Fingers crossed. See you in a bit. Now, I don't know if you can make it out on the video, but just up the cliff, just where me, the end of my hammer, hammer is, you'll see an old World War II gun post. Uh, that was on this uh, coastline to defend us. Our, this part of the country is littered with them. Uh, it's a shame really, they should be better maintained. Lovely uh, piece of artwork on the beach today. I don't know who the artist is, but they definitely have time and patience on the hands. Uh, this little guy, unfortunately, has been a seagull breakfast. Before his time. So um, we've just come and had a look closer to the clear here at Speeton um, and straight away we found evidence of an ammonite. Only a partial imprint but promising start, especially where we're looking. Right. Here's a little uh, balanite. Two pieces anywhere. Interesting. Now, you do get ones at this location that are absolutely stunning. So hopefully, we'll find one. Just found a partial ammonite. Absolutely stunning. Now we just need a full one. Right guys, if you can see this, we've got uh, a partial heteromorph. Now if you find one of these whole, it, it's absolutely amazing. Now, you can see where it, the rest of it's been, but it's gone now. So I'm gonna have a look around, see if I can find it, but I very much doubt it. But there's some nice pieces to take and I can try and make one out of the the pieces I find. Now this uh, may look like nothing but it's a, a nice piece of fossilised wood. Just found that just here. Now, we've uh, just come across this. Typical of Speeton, uh, the colour. Um, beautiful little ammonite. Uh, Centre's missing, but that doesn't matter. Um, these little ones are, are just fantastic finds. Um, and that'll definitely go in the collection, that one. A nice little white Speeton ammonite. So that ammonite I've just shown you, I actually dropped on the floor and where it actually landed, uh, it landed next to this. Uh, as you can see, another classic Speeton uh, ammonite, you can tell by the white colour. Um, so that was a bit of good luck, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Guys, I've just found this as well. Um, this, it's obviously been an etromorph at some point. You can see the, the part of it's broken away and it's gone, lost to the sea, I'm afraid. But we've still got part of the etromorph on the inner circle, as you can see there. It's 
so I'll take that home and I'll get that out. And it's always good collecting these little parts of Etromorphs because you, you can't, it's very rare you find a complete one. So a lot, what a lot of people do is they find the sections and then they, they try and match them together and to make a complete one. So that'll definitely go in the uh, spares box. So we're just a few minutes from uh, where I was when I found the, the Ammonites and we've had some quite nice little finds, guys. We've got a, a Spetum Bellum Knight. That's complete. I found quite a few today, but not only a couple, which are actually full. That, that's a lovely specimen, that is. And then we've got a couple of gastropods. Got this uh, small one. And then this one. Nice little finds there. Another tiny uh, speech and ammonite there. If we just zoom in here, we've got another tiny speech and ammonite. Classic find. Definitely look good in the jars, that's going in the collection. So just uh, where I'm walking, just about to step on this little guy. Another uh, lovely speed and ammonite. This could potentially be a really cool find. I think it's the spine of an ammonite. Um, if you look on the inside, it's got that smooth round shape. I really can't think what else it could be. If you have any idea, uh, put it in the comments. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the spine of an ammonite. Which I hope it is. There's another small ammonite. Right guys, we've just found this uh, little beauty. Again, classic speed and if you look at the colour, um, and we'll take it out and have a look at it. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. I'll take that home, clean it up, and I'll show you the end results. One of the things that's beaten is the uh, red chalk and if you're really lucky you can find a bellum knight in there like that one so i don't know what to do with that i'm going to take it home i'll probably prep it out we'll see but it's a really nice find that it's quite rare in the red chalk as well So we're still looking about in the uh, the red chalk, the bellum knights, because uh, they are they are quite rare when you find them in the red chalk. And I've just found another one which I'm actually chuffed with. I'll just pick it up and show you. Well, it's only tiny, but again, 
with it being in the red chalk, it's just a, a fantastic find. So that's going in the rucksack, absolutely chuffed. I've just uh, come across this big rock and inside it is all crystallised. Oh, it's crystal. And down here, it's a nice, nice crystal bit. Some uh, fantastic rock stacks on the beach today. I don't know who's done these, but they've definitely got a lot of time and patience on their hands. And then just moving over here, there's another three. Oh no, four. Fantastic. Nice day, really warm as well. That's us pretty much done today from Speeton. A um, bit of a different one today, not so much cracking rocks open, but more searching uh, clay and shale and chalk. We've had some good finds, I'll post some pictures of them. Uh, if you like what you've seen, uh, please subscribe to the channel and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, about the information for Speedton and, and what you can find here. And it's an interesting read, but uh, thank you for watching.